Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, since all of you requested me to show you a video of me feeding my uh, sugar gliders, uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, right now they are outside. Normally this is not their place, but the reason why I'm showing you is so that you can have an experience, all right? Okay, so let's start. So the first thing is I have to get this milk to the sugar gliders without them trying to jump out of the cage. So there are four of them. Just don't mind because I have just one hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one guy is taken care of. Okay, thankfully that didn't fall. I have to get them down. Uh, be careful that I don't. This one's scared a little bit. I don't know why it's scared. So just make sure that they don't. Uh, jump out so that is why I'm doing this all with one hand um, one thing you'll notice is uh, yeah sorry okay so I've given it a taste Ooh, oh, oh. now it's holding on to my finger oh, okay wait keep it down here sorry <clears throat> this is proving to be a little problematic because I have just one hand okay so one of the sugar glide is here. Mum, 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 mum. So this is the signal that I give them. Normally sugar gliders are not comfortable having other people, uh, you know, come into their territory. They are very shy animals, they're very afraid. And uh, it's only because I've been feeding them. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. It's hungry, but the problem is it is shy also. So I have to get it down. This guy has to come down. So as of now, I'll focus on these three. That guy will come automatically down. See, he's coming down. Okay. So here you have the sugar gliders. Normally, they'll not allow you to put your hand or, you know, because they're very shy, they're very delicate creatures, they're very afraid. And, um, you know, it's more like uh, you really have to earn their trust. See, now I can put my hand here. Generally, if you try to put your hand, they will just scream or they will run off. Go. This guy is still wondering how to come down. Wait, wait. How do I bring this guy down? So he'll figure out. Okay, yeah. As usual, they always figure it out. Okay, so now all four are down here. So you can see me keeping my finger here. This, my finger or my hand, they will not allow. Normally, they will not allow. Especially the, uh, the striped ones. Because it takes a lot of trust, you know. They have massive trust issues. Very shy, very delicate. And uh, they are very childlike, you know. And you can see... See, like I'm, I'm right now touching them to just be slow, no sudden movement. Okay. Okay. Uh, the white ones, when I got them, they were not so shy. But these ones were very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. So now he's okay with me coming close. You'll not believe when my wife was there, if I would dare to come close, he'd just run away. So now, you know. He's adjusting, so I'll just leave him. So, like, say this one. You should have seen before it was impossible for me to touch them. Just impossible. Took me nearly a month, man. So, this is how they are, these small little creatures. If you're planning to buy them, I would say buy them in a pair, because otherwise they tend to be pretty lonely. Uh, they're nocturnal creatures. At night, they... You see that wheel, no? Over there. 
the wheel they run around the wheel and oh one thing you'll be shocked these guys bark like a dog seriously they'll keep barking like a dog at night i do not know what is the reason for that they have this tendency to bark like a dog and um, i'm not being overly friendly with them the reason being is they will start climbing on my shirt they'll start climbing on my body and right now given the fact that i'm alone in the house uh, you know i'll not be able to handle four of them so i give them milk once uh, once a day and it's a special milk kind of expensive but it's okay to we'll take care of them now this is their home this is their small little home let me just show you so they like a cozy place they don't want to be disturbed they like it to be dark and they all uh, huddle together there the only problem with this is sometimes if you give them apple or you give them any fruits they'll drag the fruit inside so the skin will be there and then uh, are they curious they're wondering what is this okay okay mom and uh, yeah one more thing if you notice i keep making that sound uh, that is the common sound you cannot make a new sound every time you have to have the same order see this guy is pulling is actually pulling the wait 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 what sharing a little bit wait i'll try to pour a little bit in this okay so everyone has okay okay so yeah so what i'm saying is they and another problem with this small little enclosure it's a, it's a kind of a comfy little place is they piss in it and uh, there's that strong urine smell um initially i used to think that maybe i need to wash it every day but what i realized is they're comfortable there until it really becomes unbearable so what i tend to do is then i uh, you know give them food they all come out then i take the their house and i change it i have the extra spares so one thing is you need water it should be there a wheel it should be a large spacious cage not the small one it should be a large one so they can jump around run around and uh, give it time huh? if you put your finger and all that okay uh, see she is smelling me just to be sure that i'm a known person otherwise they're not comfortable and if one starts screaming then the other one screams and like it's like a chain reaction and if you look closely they're still shivering a bit okay this one I mean, so cute no so, yeah. <laughs> can you believe it took me one month to get close to these guys my wifey is more close to them now see this is their house their enclosure now if i were to put my finger i'm not too sure how they'll react wait wait it might bite me might not too sure cuz they don't like strangers coming in okay they got my smell so they know it's me okay fine all right your tail okay sorry <sighs> you have to be very patient with these guys man very very patient and uh, yeah i feed them twice a day one is uh, apple um every day i give them an apple and every day uh, uh, sometimes i give them a treat it's fish sticks okay fish sticks they like fish sticks those are specially made for them um yeah so one is this milk which uh, depends on how many months there are different different uh, categories 8 to 1 0 to 6 months 6 to 12 whatever uh, so you choose which one you want the second one is you have to feed them a fruit but because two died two of these where is this guy let me get this guy is at the back you can see his tail is right at the back ah here he is see is there ah this guy So, they have not finished eating huh? by the way they'll eat go inside eat go inside eat go inside yeah so what i'm saying about food is uh, milk apple um the fruit to be careful what you're giving them like for example if you give watermelon should not give them with seeds 
can be dangerous for them. And uh, because two died, uh, the pet, o- you know, pet owner and their staff said, just give them same food every time so their stomach gets used to it. Yeah. I don't know why these guys are at the back. I guess they are comfortable. I don't want to disturb them. Hey, how are you? Fine? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you ask me, um, I'm okay with either white or the striped ones. My wife is very particular about white. I guess uh, Thai people love anything that is white. White dog, white cat, white chipmunk, white uh, even sugar glider. She's shivering. You can see her? Shivering. So I have to be careful not to make him afraid. Even when I touch his ear, he's a little shy. See, he went inside. Because, you know. Uh, I know you must be saying, isn't the house collapsing on them? <laughs> uh, well, they, they like it to be a little cozy. So, okay, still eating. How did it finished? They will lick it clean. Why is this guy shivering? Hey, come in, come in. Why are you shivering? Hmm? Why are you shivering? Hmm? Okay. Nothing to be afraid of. Maybe a little bit of rough, tough noise. So, yeah. Back to eating. Like I told you, they have not finished eating. They will eat until everything is done. Eat, go inside. Eat, go inside. Eat, go inside. And, um, by the way, you will not appreciate how difficult it is for me to get these shots. Uh, what you do is uh, see if you can get, uh, go see uh, sugar gliders. Just go see if you can get any of them. Uh, put your hand there or just go close to them. You'll see them screaming. <laughs> Why is he shivering? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hmm? Okay, okay. Okay. I think they prefer the dark. So yeah, these are my sugar gliders. Uh, two of four of them. Two are inside, two here. And uh, uh, I think they're not used to the sun. So I'll take them inside. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is uh, me holding my iPhone and doing this. So it's a bit challenging. And... Uh, can see how they eat. Yeah. So holding it with one hand and feeding them and controlling all this is a bit of a challenge. It's done. Yeah, you're done. I could figure it out. And this guy will also go inside. Oh, see, I moved my foot and they both got scared. You have to be careful of sudden movements. Even if you make noise, my daughter has a habit of making big noise out of excitement. They get very, very scared. So, yeah, that's what I can suggest for sugar gliders. Um, You know, develop their trust. Feed them on time. My feeding time is morning and evening. Uh, Feed them the same food, good quality food. And uh, remember, these are very fragile creatures. you know, we, two of them died, even though we took care of them or whatever. Uh, milk is very important. The second one is apple. Uh, and get them used to eating apple. And, um, yeah, give them a spacious cage. And uh, with regards to getting them to trust you where you can move your hand and they will not, uh, you know, scream and shout. And they bite, but their bite is more like a you know, small little poke. It's not serious and blood will not come out. But they'll keep biting you because they're afraid. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is my video of the sugar gliders. I hope you enjoyed. And by the way, FYI, this is the fourth or fifth attempt I tried. Because every time when I try to make a video, either one was there, two were not there. Sometimes they are not coming out. Sometimes the lighting is not good. Sometimes it suddenly rains. So, yeah. Finally managed to get this video done with the proper lighting. Though not perfect, but I think it's okay. Wait, sorry. Now I'll keep their accessory. They like accessories like this. They, By the way, they huddle into this one. So I'll get this one to come here. 
just make sure. Okay. All right. So this is what it is. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right. This is me signing off. Uh, now I have to clean the guinea pig cage. And my guinea pig has delivered three babies. I don't know. Maybe I've uploaded. Maybe I would have uploaded the shots by now. So check that out. And those babies are pretty big, huh? Not small. I don't know. How the hell did she keep those three big ones inside? Anyway. Chal, any questions? Any comments? Let me know. Let me sign off. Chal. Tattooed guy with dangerous pets. You enjoy yourself. Do not disturb you. Okay, guys? All right.